So let's talk about cubic functions and how they relate to um, nonlinear functions in general. And I, I want to look specifically at the relationship between cubic functions and quadratic functions, which are two kinds of nonlinear functions. And just kind of compare and contrast them a little bit to deepen your understanding. And so these are both nonlinear functions, so meaning they don't make a straight line like this on the graph. So a, a linear function, a straight line graph, we have a constant rate of change, and that's what makes a straight line. Whereas the nonlinears um, are curvy because their rate of change itself is always changing. So um, I'm gonna get this linear function out of here. In fact, let's just let's just toss it. It's gone. And let's talk about cubic functions versus quadratic functions. So these two special kinds of nonlinear functions. Um, a cubic function will have the form f of x is equal to ax cubed plus bx squared plus cx plus d. And this a, b, c, and d nonsense, are, these are just coefficients. So I could have something, I'm going to grab a pen here. I could have something like um, f of x equals 2x uh, cubed plus for x squared and um, so in this case my a would be 2 that's the coefficient in front of the x cubed part my b would be 4 uh, that's the coefficient in front of the x squared part my c would be 0 it's it's just gone I'm not including that my d is 0 uh, b c and d can be 0 meaning you know you can just not have these these terms with the uh, x squared it's the plain x or the constant but you definitely have to have um, the cubic term, the something x cubed. So that's what makes it a cubic function, where something x cubed is there, and that's the highest polynom uh, the, the highest degree term that there is. So there's no you know plus plus x to the fourth. You know that's no longer a cubic function because you've got a, a power that's higher than three. So that's a cubic function, and um, so looking at it as an equation like this, you can identify it. You know, if the highest power is three, um, then it's a cubic function. Qu a quadratic function is very similar, except that its pi highest power is two. Um, the highest um, degree term is the something x squared, and quad quad just means square. So a quadratic function is something where the x squared is the um, the term with the highest degree. So a cubic function is where x cubed is the th something x cubed is the term with the with the highest power. So looking just at the equations for these functions, those are some of the similarities and differences. And then these um these differences in the equation turns into kind of some interesting differences on the graph. So this guy, the parabola, is a quadratic function, so it has just one nice curve like that where there's an axis of symmetry that runs through this point down at the bottom called the vertex um, and you know a parabola can be can point up like that or it can um, point down like that but it's just gonna have one kind of hill or one little valley um, like that and then both the ends are gonna point in the same direction and go off into infinity so that's that's a parabola. Uh, cubic function um, is a little bit more exciting. There's act, instead of just one hill or valley, there's actually two. There's two critical points here where the graph changes direction. So it's going up and then up. Oh, now we're going back down. Oh wait, now we're going up. And what happens then is that its two ends will go in opposite directions. So if this guy is going up into positive infinity, then this guy is dive bombing into negative infinity. Um, or it could be, you know, the other way around. I could, um, you know, it might be that on on the left side here, it's skyrocketing into positive infinity, and then dive bombing into negative infinity. But the main point is, there's going to be two critical points here where it switches direction, and that's what gives it that kind of distinctive S shape, like that.